slept on this. I really don't like it. So I think the background is too dark and this is messy. So what I'm going to do before it can never be altered, I'm going to try and wash out a lot of this background. It happens every so often and we just turn it into mixed media. I'll turn that upside down in a minute. Just soaking it really well and hopefully most of this will wash out. Dab with a tissue. If it wasn't on a block I would stick it in the bath. Again, the clean water. Okay, let's turn it upside down. Because this is the bit that's really gone wrong. Just seemed too dark and they were lovely and vibrant. And um the background just seems to really kill it but no until you do it you don't know and now it's got to the point where it doesn't matter so I can try and sort it and if it sorts it that's great and if it doesn't well it doesn't <coughs> but I've tried I think surprising what you can get out if you put it in the bath and scrubbed it you get a lot more out but I don't want to wreck the rest of the pads so we're just doing it this way and it doesn't matter it either work or it doesn't It's vibrancy, hasn't it? Right, this picture went really, really wrong. So what I'm going to do is try and bring it back. And I'm going to add some iridescent medium, which should soften all this background. It's Windsor and Newton. And the thing is, no, we can always throw this out, but we try and make it work before we do. So over all of that with the iridescent medium, it's an old brush. I tend to use older brushes for doing this around the figures I think when it goes wrong it really does doesn't it and what I decided was the background was much too dark let's bring that down over that shadow And it's a little bit sort of like coating wallpaper. Well, I have used this before when I've had a background that went wrong, but I must admit the other time the watercolour was a little bit better than this and this has gone a bit sort of strange as I've washed it out. But I have some ideas and we will just see if that works or not. Try not to get too many sort of lines. Okay, it's such a shame. I think I'd like to do this again, but I would actually draw them a lot bigger and maybe push them in a little bit closer to each other. But, you, know, you do it and you learn such a lot. And if you can turn it into mixed media, sometimes it's even better. 
Um, no, it doesn't matter, does it? It's just learning. And at this point, it doesn't really matter what you do because you're not worried about it anymore. And that can be quite sort of liberating too. That's quite sparkly, which um, let's coat that all over. Now, if you want it even lighter, you can do more coats, let that dry, and then we can do some more coats over. But I think we'll just see how that dries, that might be enough. I did manage to wash quite a lot of it out. That needs to be a bit dark, or a bit lighter, a bit more pigment there. Alright, now the thing to do is to let this dry and see what we're left with and if we can make that work. I am just thinking that this wouldn't hurt from having another coat of iridescent medium just to make it even lighter. And each coat you put on will get that background lighter and lighter so it doesn't look so horrible. Take that in quite close there. when it goes wrong it really does doesn't it Try not to get lines, it is very much like just glossing a door. And that looks a lot softer, so let's see where we go from here. I'm going to get some vibrancy into this and what I'm going to do is use some of these dyes I think. Um, purple, now in here they really look horrible and you can hardly see what's going on. I'm using a sword liner brush because I want to get that energy. Going to bring back some of the dark shapes but with this brush they won't be tight or fiddly because they sort of do their own thing um, and they'd be so vibrant now this will give me that looseness dark gorgeous they dyes and they just they are so vibrant Oops. that's a 
comes out like that. That's going ahead. Get some of that movement. We can even sort of go outside of that a little bit. Yeah, I think that's bringing it back. And we'll go back with some skin tones and something in a little bit. But let's get a little bit more vibrancy on. Now, we've got that lovely turquoise, which I've also got. See how dark that is? That really looks horrible, doesn't it? But we start to put that onto the paper. It's so vibrant. running down there and she's got the same sort of colouring I think that's lifting it a lot and I've got nothing to lose it's um and let's have a look some something pink. I think he gets probably that one. Let's just try that on a bit of paper. Yeah, that's quite vibrant. You really need to do a colour chart because you cannot tell by looking at these what colours they come out like. No one behind, so I'll water that colour a little bit in a minute. Let's get flowing lines. Well, I think I've got to get back over that with that green. I'm going to use some yellow now. Let's find a nice yellow. Um, something very vibrant. And again, they're not... They come out different than they look on here. So let's go for that. That will lift. She can have a lot more of that colour on. Also, this lady. So I'm tempted to put some gold in, but I think this will be fine. If we need it, we can always add it later. That's sort of shining through that is sparkly bits, and now I've got to find something purple for that lady behind, because we don't want her to react too much to that dress. She's actually wearing something that's very similar. so far so good. Now I think I use some normal paint. I'm just going to get back some of the skin tone colour and I'm just going to go for a light red and a little bit of the sepia like we used in the first place just to bring back some of the skin tone. And let's just pop that around. That's sort of lost some of that shape. to do his clothes in a minute. But now I'm trying to keep it loose. Just 
just brings back that shape, doesn't it? There's another lady behind there. She's in a different colour dress. And time to introduce some dark red from our dyes. Um, which one could it be? Let's try that one. And that will do. Well, they're starting to really come alive from there, much better than I thought they would. Um, I think the hair I'm going to keep quite dark, but I'm just going to use a mix of what we did to start with, so the Prussian blue and the sepia. Or should I go in with some ink? Let's try the Prussian blue and the sepia. If that doesn't work, we can always then ink it. No, that's not going to be dark enough. So let's find some ink. Or die. Right, so our black. I think that's the black. Maybe not. That is. Yeah, so ever so difficult to tell what colours they are. I'm just going to work that because I want that really dark. And I call this my possessed brush. Hopefully that's dark. Let's see what we've got here. It just gives it a bit of energy, a bit of a line there. Let's bring back that shape. Not too much. some green into that in a minute. And you can't really be sure where you're putting this and that actually I think is going to keep this loose which is what I want. Darks in here and there to define it. See, nice and loose. I had so much movement when they were running down the hill. Yeah, this is quite fun because I'm really just not worrying too much now. Just do that little boy. We need to find some green for him. Got a green here. Is that near enough match? It's a sort of greeny grey, isn't it? So that gives it some more colour. Just let that dry a second. And we're back to my black. Uh, let's get this little boy's shape back in. Oh, it's just amazing to see this happening. There, so that 
the edge of that. Well, I do feel that I've got the movement now, but we've got this sort of gap that's sitting there. So what do we do now? We don't want to fill it up too much like before. need just a little bit of dark I don't want to do features but yeah that's better now I'm going to do some coloured inky shadows just coming off of them a little bit we use my random brush again so we'll colour first Let's try at the back with the turquoise because they will be reflecting what's and what I'm hoping is that that will be sort of see through and sparkly because if it's dye is going on top of um that's good. And now for the, the pink, what pink did we use? Um, It'd help if I could remember, wouldn't it? That's it. Okay, so the same here, that sort of shadow that's I can join up with that one. I did need to remember which ones you've been using. And that goes quite light. I quite like that effect. The green for the little boy. And the mo for that lady. Make sure we have the move. Um, there could be something there that we don't know, and I think I just punch that up here with some shape. Otherwise, it just looks a little bit odd. Now I'm looking at that and thinking, shall I do some splattering? Um, I'm going to dry it and then make a decision. Do you know, I think I'm better leaving that as it is. At the moment, that works as a painting. So out of something that I was about to rip up because I was so upset with what I've done and how it worked out, that's really captured the energy and the colour of those ladies um, in Goa going to the wedding. Um, it really has it brings back the memories of being there. So I'm leaving alone. That will be okay as it is. So I hope it gives you some ideas. So there's always something you can do and it doesn't matter if you think it's gone so wrong, then just try anything and have some fun. Thank you for watching.